Assalamu alaikum students welcome back to the lecture today we are going to learn about real numbers we also learn about intervals and how we can represent different types of intervals on real line first of all definition of the real number the collection of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers here we can represent by r the set of real numbers and q represent the set of rational number and q bar represent the set of irrational number basically set of real number is the union of set of rational and set of irrational numbers now question is what is set of rational numbers q here q represent the set of rational numbers and set of rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q with the condition that both p and q belongs to set of integers and q is not equal to 0 represent the set of real numbers on real line a real line is basically a geometrical representation of the real numbers in the center of this real line we have 0 and on left extreme we have minus infinity and on right extreme we have plus infinity and between this minus infinity and plus infinity there are infinite many numbers set of real number basically is an infinite set and we can also observe that between this 0 and 1 there are also infinite many real numbers for example, 0 0.1, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.22999 or so on. We can observe there are many real numbers between any two real numbers. Or in other words, we can say that there are infinite many real numbers between any two real numbers. Now we move towards the interval. Any subset of real numbers are called intervals. The types of the intervals, first of all, open intervals, closed intervals, and semi-open intervals. Open intervals, in open intervals, boundary points are not included. And we represent open intervals by round brackets. Here we can see that we represent the open interval by using round brackets. And this means the boundary points are not included, but inside the boundary points all the real numbers we included between 3 and 4 that are infinite many real numbers and we represent our real line by circles open circles not we fill it in the case of closed interval but in the case of open interval we have open balls on the both end of the intervals next we move towards the close interval in close intervals the boundary points are also included and we represent the close interval by using square brackets and to represent the close interval on the real line we use closed balls or filled balls here we can see that uh, we uh, put these lines with the filled end points it means the boundary points are included in the closed interval as here we consider a closed interval from minus 1 by 2 to 3 one more thing about interval we should notice that the starting point of each interval is always less or equal to the end point of the interval the initial point first point is called the initial point and the second last point is called the terminal point now we move towards the semi-open or semi-closed interval. In semi-open, semi-closed interval, the points on one side is excluded and other side is included, represented as. Either we have an open interval from right side or from open interval from left side. In the case, if we have open interval from the left side, we have this representation on the real line as we can see that e easily that this is open from the right side and closed from the left side this interval we represent basically this interval by this 
लाइन सेगमेंट ऑन द रियल लाइन एंड इफ वी हैव ओपन इंटरवल फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड देन वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट बाय यूजिंग दिस सेगमेंट ऑन द रियल लाइन हेयर वी कैन क्लियरली सी डेट वी हैव एन ओपन साइड फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ एस दिस इज ओपन इंटरवल फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड दैट्स वाई ऑन द रियल लाइन वी हैव ओपन बॉल ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड these are the basically types of the intervals and how we can uh, represent on the real line first point is the initial point as uh, i already explained that the first point or is called the initial point and the last points are called the interval point how we can write intervals in the set builder notation now we learn about the set builder notation of the intervals a close interval uh, from a to b here a is the initial point and b is the terminal point and we have a close interval it means boundaries are also included elements present in this close intervals are the small real numbers such that this r is greater or equal to a and less or equal to b here we have this r is greater and equal to because the boundary points are included and less or equal to b we, as we have a boundary point on the terminal side also included now we move towards the set filter notation of the open interval in the case of the open interval here we can see that the boundary points are not included in the set it means this open rep interval represent a set uh, where r r belongs to real numbers r such numbers between a and b but a and b are not included that's why we use strictly greater than notation not equal to these are called the open interval set builder notation next we move towards the semi open interval in this case uh we have r belongs to the real number such that a is greater or equal to r and less than b as here we can see that a is included initial uh, boundary point is included and terminal boundary point is not included that's why we use here a is greater or equal to r and uh, uh, r is greater or equal to a and less than or strictly less than p here b is not included that's why we uh, are using strictly greater notation or not using equal here next we move towards the open interval in which uh, which is open from the left side here we can see that a is not included but we can also observe that it is closed from the terminal side it means all such real numbers belongs to this set such that r is greater than or strictly greater than a and r is less or equal to b it means b is also included in this set as have you considered from b side this interval is closed next we move towards the representation of the real numbers we can also represent the real numbers in the form of interval actually the real number is a, an infinite set and then we can represent it by from minus infinity to infinity as from minus infinity to infinity the interval is always open keep in your mind now we can also see that uh, that we can write uh, or this interval given here or we can also write that union of one more element that is zero a open interval from minus infinity to zero union open interval from zero to infinity and one element is missing that is zero and we can also take the union of zero as given here we can take the union of zero there are many other representation of the real numbers uh usually we use this representation at from minus infinity to infinity if we have to take the uh we are to take the positive real numbers then the positive real number represented by 
this interval 0 to infinity and if we move towards the negative real number then negative real numbers can be represented by this interval from minus infinity to 0. In next lecture we will learn about some algebraic and geometric properties of the real numbers. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.